It's been quite a while since I've done a review of something other than music on this channel, so let's take a break to look at a movie I saw recently that was very, very good. Zootopia is the latest animated feature from the intergalactic entertainment empire known as Disney Animation, and it's certainly another home run for them. From clever, creative writing to excellent character development to incredible world building, this movie does so much so well. To be honest, I was interested in this movie from the first time I heard about it, and that's because I've always loved stories with alternative worlds and particularly animal societies. Things like the Redwall series, The Lion King, The Secret of Nim, they all fired my imagination when I was growing up. I would always wonder what a civilization made up of animals would look like. Like for example, how would different species coexist? Would different animals have prejudices against other animals? What would their houses look like? Would an animal society create products that humans would never consider? Would there be an entire school system set up for nocturnal animals? Would bats have a subgenre of music called ultrawave that used notes in ultrasonic frequencies that only they could hear? So, when I first heard about Zootopia, my thought was, oh my goodness, at least I'm not the only one who thinks about this. My favorite thing about the premise of Zootopia is the amount of effort and creativity that went into designing this modern animal world. The creative team clearly spent a lot of time thinking about how this city would work, from the different boroughs of the city down to the kinds of logos on products. If you look at the production materials that have been released, it's quite impressive. But what makes the movie really work is that it's able to show us this fantastic world without getting bogged down in exposition, and instead tells a compelling story that lets us discover this world as it unfolds. We follow Judy Hopps as she leaves her rural hometown of Bunnyboro to follow her dream of becoming the first rapid police officer in the city of Zootopia. As she works to prove herself and solve a mysterious missing person case, we get to see many of the city's neighborhoods and their residents, most notably Nick Wilde, a fox hustler. The dynamic between Judy and Nick is just amazing. They have to be one of the best on-screen duos I've seen in years. We watch them learn about each other and grow as characters in everything they do. All their little arguments, quips, and ultimately teamwork together work so well. And not only do they go well together, but just about all the characters play off one another brilliantly. Most significant characters in the film have nuance to them and motives you can understand. And since the movie has believable, interesting characters in a unique setting, it all becomes that much more compelling when things take a dark twist. Yes, this talking animal movie gets into real film noir detective territory, and again, it works so well. Despite the fact that there were several clips of the movie released leading up to the premiere, the producers only hinted at the conflict in the second half where things get real. This movie is able to deal with things like racism, sexism, corruption, conspiracies, and even drug issues in ways that are really compelling and don't come across as ham-fisted or preachy. Now, some people have had issues with the way Zootopia handles the issues of prejudice and race using animals. I've heard claims that the predators are meant to represent black people or other minorities, and that by casting minorities as predators, the movie is inadvertently claiming that all minorities are biologically inclined to be violent. This idea, though, is flawed from the start. The film presents race issues with a lot more complexity than this, and it is much better for it. Throughout the movie, positions of power and disadvantage are held by both predator and prey animals. In fact, many times the same character will experience discrimination and show prejudice to others at different times. No one group falls into the oppressor or oppressed category all the time. By removing any one-to-one -one comparison between the social prejudices in the movie and the social prejudices of the real world, the movie's theme becomes much more powerful. The audience is able to see the story as an allegory for many types of prejudice, no matter where in the world or when they are watching it. The movie makes its point without having to tie itself to any one period, group, or issue, and instead it can apply to all of these issues. I don't think it's an accident that a story with a message this universal centers around animals. After all, anthropomorphic animals have been used for centuries to tell stories that reflect human nature. 
Aesop's Fables, George Orwell's Animal Farm, Richard Adams' Watership Down, even Dr. Seuss books like The Sneetches use animal characters in order to let their audience see an issue at a distance from the social labels that are associated with it, allowing them to make their own connection to the story's message and realize its meaning for themselves. This is the power of allegory, and it's something that Zootopia pulls off brilliantly. This is the kind of movie that stays with you after you've seen it. I was worried that after hearing a lot of good things about it I'd be overhyped when I finally went to see it, but when I left the theater I was thinking, hey, that was actually pretty good. After a few days of having it stick in my head though, the movie grew on me even more and I soon realized that it actually does deserve the rave reviews it's getting. This is a very well written, well acted, beautifully animated movie that is filled to the brim with interesting ideas and themes. I've already seen many discussions about characters in the movie and their motivations, and not just pure fan fiction and theory, this is discussion of actual things that happen in the movie. It's been a while since I've seen an animated movie that has inspired this level of analysis. Heck, a lot of purely adult movies haven't gained this much analysis recently. But there really are enough details in Zootopia to keep you interested in multiple viewings and multiple discussions. For instance, I bet a lot of people didn't realize the significance of this post-it note on Bellwether's desk. So yes, this is a movie I would recommend to anyone of any age. From amazing world building to buddy cop action to really intelligent and compelling social commentary, Zootopia does it all. It is easily among the best movies of 2016 so far, so go watch it. But before you do, thanks for watching my video.